hi it seems that I did have the problem so I need to, to use an older kernel which is 4.10 not the 4.15 and let's see the NVIDIA as you can see that I'm using a very old card called GTS 250 so for 250 so let's see GTS 250 could uh, support Ooh, okay so for the 250 okay first let me find okay here it is it is said that GTS 250 is is uh, supported up to 6.5 and on CUDA driver T.40 so we need to use we need to download the CUDA toolkit 6.5 for this card so go to the NVIDIA website could download CUDA and go to the legacy release and then choose CUDA 6.5 CUDA toolkit 6.5 sorry and choose Linux or Linux and download the 14.04 dev package or the run is okay but I prefer is this one well since this is Ubuntu you can just open right away so no problem the Ubuntu software center will handle it should ask for a password so now it is installed now you have to update mm, okay then you have to search for the CUDA toolkit So install where is it? Here it is. CUDA toolkit wait six point five. If it install and there. Now wait until it finishes. Okay, as you can see, we already installed the NVIDIA CUDA toolkit. And it should be, the location of the file should be located on user local CUDA. Yes, yeah, so somewhere around here. So the next thing you have to do is, okay, you need to set your environment you need to set your path to this location you need to add this location to your path so go to etc environment oh, sorry and then add this to the path after that oh yeah You go to user local CUDA and what else you need to set the library lib64 and maybe you need to if you need some other libraries to be set you can go to this and this and some others but I'm not so sure but I think you only need to set this library if not then set them all so now export and now you should set the ld underscore library underscore path to this one 
and if you need to add any more just add more on this file on etc environment so, uh, do i need to close no need just need a new new line and that's it and to use it to wait a minute okay i pressed the wrong button Oh, again. Okay, this time be careful. Okay, finally done. You can actually just log out. You don't need to reboot. Or maybe you do need to reboot. But let's see. Hello, and from the looks of it, you only need to log out. And here it is. Okay. So I, so I got CUDA toolkit. 6.5 installed for GTS 250 and that's it for the tutorial bye oh I forgot to tell you as you can see that I have another PC which is equipped with a GeForce 8800 GT and it's also using uh, NVIDIA Dever 340 and here also um, NVIDIA CUDA toolkit was installed and the CUDA version that is uh, that match GT8800 is uh, version 6.5 as well so the tutorial for GTS250 also applies for the card with a GeForce 8800 GT and that is it but before that let me exit I I connect to SSH let's see the difference so this one okay oh no 1861 megabyte yes almost the same 511 so I'm using I'm already using it for mining on this one and also here as you see I'm already already started mining which is available on my other videos which is not on YouTube for now so let's try and feed the SMI again yep here it is it's using all of the memory on the nvidia so there thank you